In this video, we're gonna have a Shaver Gen and unboxing. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content today, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and let's get into it today. And we will start with the Shaverage, which is cheer wine. And I believe this is a cherry soda of some sort. I don't know. I think it's my nephew's. Don't tell him I stole it. It was in the refrigerator. So <laughs> fair play, fair play. Uh, let's give it a, a little swig and see how it is. Cheer wine. And yes. It's kind of like uh, cherry Coke, if you will. Pretty good, let's have another. All right, not bad at all. Let's get out the unboxing instrument for today, which is the Benchmade Bug Out, one of my favorite knives. It's not one you want to bang around on, but very lightweight and has an excellent blade on it. I love this knife, Benchmade Bug Out. And today's box comes to us from the Razor Company, and you know that I order there all the time and today we have ordered something and I can't remember what it is so we'll find out together <laughs> and, and see what treasures lie within this box. That's the whole point of a shaver and unboxing, isn't it? All right, there is an air freshener, which you know I like and let's get out the first soap for today, which is Crown and Crane and this is, how do you say this? Thuringian Forest or Thuringian Forest? Please coach me up on how to say that. I know I'm butchering it and I am sorry. Let's give it a go. I am nine for nine on crane, uh, crown and crane scents, so let's hope our good luck continues. And let's put that piece of plastic aside, and these always come with that seal on it, so let's get that seal off so we can get to the goodness. Uh, I might have to use my knife here to make a little headway in getting this apart, but anyway, I do like the crown and crane uh, wraps these, that way the lid doesn't come off during shipping or something like that. Not that it would, I haven't had that problem before, but. Even with the knife, it's a little difficult sometimes to get under that seal, and so I apologize for the delay. And of course, I don't have much in the way of fingernails, so it's kind of difficult. It does take a while to, <laughs> to get these things off from Crown and Crane. That's the only thing that's slightly annoying, but it does protect it. So here we go. Thuringian Forest, Thuringian. Thuringian? Is that like one of those characters off Star Trek? Thuringian? I don't know. Here we go, let's smell it. That's the most important thing, right? Let's, let's give it a whiff and let's give you a look first and let's give it a whiff. Oh, nice. Very pleasant. Ooh, th this is a good one. This is gonna be a winner. This, what does this remind me of? It's a light scent, but it's really pleasant. It's got some brightness to it. It is not at all a dark scent. So if you're worried about that, I don't know um, how to describe this other than to say it's light it's bright, or at least to my nose it's bright. I realize it may not be bright to everybody, but it smells good, let's put it that way. <laughs> so go and look up the notes, and of course, I'll link that for you below. You can go look at the notes, but I tell you what, that smells great, looking forward to using that. Crown and Crane, I absolutely love it. Nine for nine now, or is that 10 for 10? I don't remember, I've already forgotten. And the next soap is a holiday soap, and this is from McDuff's out of Canada, and this is Bad Santa, love the label on that. And I think I saw the Razor Company, they sold out of this, but they have a restock coming. So if you're interested in this one, keep an eye on the Razor Company. And I love that label. That's pretty awesome, I think. Bad Santa, let's give it a whiff. That's the most important thing. There's a look at the soap. Nice. This is a darker scent to my nose. What am I getting here? Am I getting like whiskey, I wanna say? I definitely think I'm getting a whiskey sort of vibe to it. Maybe some vanilla whiskey. I'm not exactly sure because I don't know the notes and there again is a look at it and that looks like it's really, really soft, but we'll deal with it. Uh, again, I think I'm getting whiskey off this. So if you're a lover of bourbon, scotch, bourbon, this is more bourbon, I think, than, than scotch to my nose. And I could be completely wrong. So McDuff's, if there's no whiskey in this, I apologize. That's what I'm getting. Maybe whiskey brown sugar or something like that is the vibe I'm getting from this. 
McDuff's Bad Santa, and we'll look forward to using this as the holiday season uh, progresses. So two, what I think will be winners today. So I'm really happy with those, and I hope you folks are happy too. Thank you so much for joining me as always. And I remind you once again, get out there and lift people up, folks. Give them that positive comment. Give them reason to smell. And if you see those negative Nancys, we lift them up. Because if we lift them up, we don't have to lift them out. Because we will lift them out if we have to. We need positive people in here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.